Alright, if you started your project with AAC template, you don't have to go to the plugins and enable the sun position calculator. If you did not, go to plugins, built in and search for sun position calculator. And here's the magic guys. Go to place actors, lights, get this guy, sun and sky, place it. You're gonna see some new effects going on. Don't get scared and stuff. And you guessed it, what we have here is a geographically accurate sun positioner. You go to Google and you search for Berlin latitude and longitude, for example. And this is the latitude, this is the longitude. And if you don't believe me, you can go to this website, type Berlin here, and it will give you the um, latitude and longitude. Basically, we copy these numbers, so we put latitude in the latitude, longitude in the longitude and the time zone you set it to the correct time zone and look at that you have your sun it's uh, it just can't get more accurate so let's go even to today's date we are 8 february february sorry and let's set the time perhaps for 10 a.m let's put it 9 a.m that's kind of cool yeah, we have our sun. Let me show you this building in real life. So what I'm gonna do now is go to earthgoogle.com. So let's search for Berlin. Look at me locating this project. Yeah, <laughs> I just know where is it. Oh, this is an updated image. It's really nice to see this guy in progress. I think at this point it's completed if we look at like, I don't know, one of these pictures, if you're lucky from the first picture, yeah, it's almost completed. It is absolutely incredible feeling seeing your virtual project being built in real life. Fun fact, believe it or not, uh, I had to count these uh, stales. This is the memorial to the murdered Jews of Europe. I learned so much about this and I also counted all of these one by one. Not using Google Earth, but using some different pictures. I think they were like 2711. Let's go to Wikipedia. Yeah, and yeah, I spent like three weeks trying to make this inside Unreal Engine as accurate as possible. There, I learned so much. This project, if anything, it was a massive learning experience for me and my team. Back then, I believe we were like only three people working on this. To make series, you can do this almost in infinite ways. Back then, we sent a photographer to this area to take photos of the surrounding buildings. You could fly drones, do some photogrammetry, but unfortunately for this project, this not allowed for security reasons. So we used Google Street View and whatever pictures we managed to get from our photographer looking at these facades and these buildings and we modeled them manually like as much accurate as possible which is in our case here pretty accurate especially this memorial i took care personally of it because i also wanted to make virtual tour of this memorial so people can learn more about it just like i did however for the pandemic reasons and stuff i stopped the project but perhaps with your support guys we can get to we can finalize this project all right as you can see here, we divided the project in two files. The first file where we have our building here and the second file is this part of Berlin. And in Blender, you can export as much as you want. You will have boxes basically, like so. Even these buildings were represented as boxes like this, for example. And using whatever data we managed to get in real world and online and yeah, I actually, before I break my HTC Vive cable, um, I was using Google Earth VR. If you have a VR headset and you didn't try Google Earth VR, I urge you to do so because the world look absolutely incredible. So let me turn off the data that we don't need for now. Actually, there is a tutorial, but it's kind of outdated on how to import cities in with Blender. 
we will redo this an updated version but until then you can check out this tutorial here let's hide everything we don't want and let's import this city step by step as you know in my projects i always love to have a mannequin or human sized boy so we have this environment here and these layers are separated into more layers where, where we have all these buildings that were manually made with whether Blender or 3ds Max, doesn't really matter. I'm just gonna hide these guys for now and we will import these buildings. And when it comes to these buildings, I guess it's fine to export all of them at once. So let's go ahead and do that and let's call it M environment or M ENV shortcut for environment data math click OK we will not be using these buildings at the beginning of the project right now we're just importing stuff so before we import now inside Unreal Engine here what we're going to do is make a new map and call it M underscore environment let's double click click save click data math select our data math file click open and I recommend having another data math import folder for now again we cannot see anything because we don't have a sun but this is a completely different environment so that's okay so you may wonder what are we going to do with this environment right well if we go back to our the main map and go to window levels you will have this tab that you can dock anywhere you like if we go to where we have our maps we click and drag this level to this tab here and it will add the environment here for us which is super cool for now we don't want it you can whether hide it or you can just remove it completely and we can import it later but it's a good thing to have our layers organized so for now we have two layers to export this guy so let's call this guy just GIS temp we might improve on this guy later while it's exporting and importing you can save some time by just GIS temp new map here click save click data math again and locate your data math file import here click import good stuff let's hide this layer and let's all it let's call it GIS temp Y environment which is Yahya environment we don't need the trees the trees here I put using Google Earth as just placeholders so we can place them later inside Android engine let's make another DT import and call it DTY to keep things organized export is finished let Android engine do its thing let's go back to our main map let's actually save first and let's go back to our main map you noticed me exporting these folders or like these files one by one especially at the beginning of the tutorial Hamude Maman asked me if we can look at the layers inside Unreal Engine and we can do that if you go to window you can check layers and here you will see all the layers we had inside 3ds Max visualized in Unreal Engine like so for example if you want to select the exterior walls of the third floor you can just double click this layer I have a custom shortcut to isolate selection it's H in my case and you can select layers like so right you can create empty layers in the levels you can have folders here and keep things organized we imported everything and it took some time because as you can tell this is a big project let's select everything like these three maps and click and drag wait for another 10 minutes oh we're good and welcome this is Berlin now we're using completely dynamic lighting and you can see the shadows and the cascades and whatnot at the end of this project uh, we will try to go with ray traced lighting don't forget to press ctrl shift s <laughs> to save everything don't forget to get our master class in architecture Thank you for watching guys, I hope you learned something today. If you have any questions for the future tutorials, please write them down in the comments. And I will see you guys in the next lesson, where we put some materials and stuff.